Huh. Well, here's two stories. Well, two for me, anyway. Uh, because at the end of last season of Titans, Wonder Girl died. And it was really stupid. <laughs> she was one of the better characters. I liked her. And uh, look, they got the suits actually pretty good and everything. She looks good at it. And, she, uh, you know... Uh, yeah, Titans is a bad series, it's, you know, but it had a pretty good cast, especially the guy playing uh, Robin or Dick Grayson, rather. Uh, it's pretty good. The Superboy episode was the best they've done. It was actually excellent. But anyway, so the idea, uh, of course, everything's on HBO Max now, so all those in the DC Universe uh, it will be no more. It'll be a comic book site, and that's it. So these shows will move over there. And so now, apparently, HBO Max wants Gal Gadot to be the Wonder Woman of her uh, Wonder Girl, uh, Wonder Girl. So I uh, says earlier we talked about special spinoffs, and that Wonder Girl might get her own series. Uh, that would be cool. A uh, Nightwing series would be really cool too, because uh, that guy could sell it. But they got to give him a good story. They gave him an awful story uh, last season for Titans. Uh, the plot points were not bad. Him getting uh, sent off to prison manipulated by Deathstroke and all that. I think it would have been better had he been framed for a crime he didn't commit and nobody believed him and Deathstroke's just laughing at him while he's stuck there and then he has to figure a way out and all that. That would have been better. Instead, uh, he's guilt-ridden uh, over something that really wasn't his fault <laughs> and he deliberately gets himself arrested and, and sent to prison. <laughs> it was stupid. Uh, Wonder Girl dies in a kind of a dumb... Uh, she gets electrocuted. It's, uh, I don't know. So, oh, she's dead. How could she come back? Well, it's superhero soap opera stuff. So, I don't know. Uh, the Amazons bring her back from the dead. The goddess Aphrodite resurrects her. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You can uh, figure that out. So, anyway, Mikey Sutton, once again, the big time scooper, claims HBO Max is discussing an offshoot and AT&T would like Gal Gadot to make an appearance. So, that, that would make her the Wonder Woman of this version of it now early on when titan started and it looked like it was going to be cool on some level uh when robin was taking out some thugs and stuff and it says like, boy you know he could be the robin of the dceu you know they could just make that link but they didn't they've already introduced their batman in the form of lane glenn playing the role um i like lane glenn i liked him in game of thrones uh but um uh, He's no Batman. He might have made a better Alfred, uh, but 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 not uh, Batman. Uh, and that, that's unfortunate, but uh, that's that's what happened. So um, I don't know how they make that work, unless of course they say, "Oh, Flashpoint will solve everything," <laughs> and then Lane Glenn will be the DCU Batman. I don't think so. So uh, anyway, uh, there it is. Uh, they wanted they possibly do this Wonder Girl spinoff. Uh, I'd be all for that, but I just thought they would cast their own Wonder Woman, like they've done with the CW Superman, and they would be a Wonder Woman uh, here, and would just be another actress, and she's you know would do a few scenes, and who knows at some point they might want to do a Wonder Woman series, uh, but eventually Gal Gadot's gonna want to move on, uh, you know, unless she really wants to play the role as long as she possibly can. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, she's very popular in the role. And I guess they figured, look, uh, having her appear in it would really sell uh, the show uh, more so, so you can understand that. And um, But narratively and all that, I'm not sure it's such a good idea. But uh, she does her cameo, and there you go. Uh, the Wonder Girl is off on her own, and that's about it. <sighs> but I think it would have been better to have their own Wonder Woman and because then you can have stories that involve the two more often, whereas you might not always have access to Gal Gadot reprising her role in it. So, so anyway, th there you go. Oh, Connor Leslie is her name? Her name's Connor, huh? Well, anyway, uh, so that would uh, be interesting that they're, they'll bring her back uh, somehow. <laughs> not a Lazarus pit. <laughs> Uh, okay, she's taken back to Themyscira to be resurrected. It's as simple as that. Oh, well, they, they had a funeral and everything. And it's like, oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, guys. Did I forget to mention we can resurrect her? So we'll bring her back later. Don't worry. <laughs> 
Yes, he died by electrocution in the season two finale, saving a civilian at a carnival. Carnival. It was unnecessary, improbable, and perfectly prevailed. Yeah, it was just really stupid. It's almost like she tripped on a banana peel and hit her head on the toilet. You know, I mean, it, it was terrible. So, uh, I, that whole season was a mess. There's something, I don't know what happened. I, it, it seemed like they had ideas and, like I said, plot points to get Dick Grayson where they wanted him and, and uh, Raven and all that, and then setting up uh, Coriander's story with her evil sister and all that. It's all fine, but the delivery was terrible. I, you know, and then all of a sudden Deathstroke is just, eh, they beat him, it's over. You know, <laughs> he's their big bad, you know, and I, uh, I don't know what happened there. Hopefully, uh, they've got another shot here, and uh, it's already renewed for a fourth season, so, uh, because HBO just has to have material. Uh, but if this is so bad, I mean, the fourth season might not happen. So people have got to tune in and all that. So, uh, but, uh, they got to right the ship, uh, quickly on that. And, uh, cause, boy, I tell you, that second season was even beneath the CW standards. <laughs> so, which is too bad. Cause, like, again, there's promise here. Uh, especially this guy playing, uh, Dick Gray. He does a very good, that's the best Robin I've ever seen. Uh, now Nightwing, of course. But either way, uh, he, he, he did a very good uh, performance there, despite not having scripts worthy of his talent. But, boy, seen that a lot uh, these days. But uh, what are you going to do? Anyway, there you go. Possibly getting a Wonder Girl series and maybe even Gal Gadot uh, adding her talents to give it a little boost. And uh, we'll perhaps see more of Ms. Leslie as Wonder Girl. All right, thank you for watching and listening. So, why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below? That'll take you to my mini stores and have plenty of goodies for you. You know, hats, mugs, stickers, posters, all that goody goody stuff. Plus, you can head over to indieplanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Plus, you can also catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on my channel at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson channel on BitChute.com. <laughs>